Alright, welcome back to more Lufia Blind. Last episode, we went into the Green Tower, which is down to the south of here, and was exploring that, and we ended up coming back here with pretty much no progress, because we didn't find the gem we needed to put in the pedestal at the top of there. So, between recordings, I took the liberty of looking up what the rings do, as I said I might do in the last episode. And I'll go ahead and explain a few of the things that I found out. Turns out the day's ring just gives me some some stat increases. Like if I take it off right now and then I'll put it back on. See, it raises defense and magic resistance right there. And I'll uh, see the monster ring will increase monster encounter encounter things encounter encounter rate. Excuse me, blah blah blah. I can't talk. Fly ring increases the damage you do to flying monsters. Ghost ring increases damage to ghost monsters. And then. Luffy has the flash ring, which will which will uh, increase the damage of her flash spell. Agro has the salt the sonic ring, which is just gives him a little bit more defense and agility. And then Jaren has the green ring, which gives her a whole buttload of stat increases. Just look at all that. And since she's the weakest party member that we have right now, I figured it was pretty much the best option to give it to her, so she'll be a little bit more up with the, a little bit more, what's what I'm looking for here, about the same power level I guess as us, so she wouldn't be too far behind, so anyway, just wanted to go ahead and mention that as I started the video, and when I get the, uh, when I get more rings I will uh, go look up what they do, because this game does not give me any, any uh, descriptions for the rings, so I have to actually go do some research myself, uh, Thanks, devs. You do a great job. Lufia 2 probably does better on that. I'm, gonna, I'm not sure if I'm gonna play Lufia 2, but I'm, I might do. I might LP Lufia 2 blind after this one as well. Just all. It just depends if I have what I, what's what's going on in life at the time, and if I feel like it and all that. Because I don't want to go through a LP through a game that I don't like. So, anyway. Actually, it was, uh, one of my friends was telling, it was kind of almost pressuring me to play a Lufia 2 before I played this game, but I just really wanted to play this game first, so, whatever. I mean, I know since Lufia 2 is supposed to be a prequel, that's why they wanted me to play Lufia 2 first, but I don't care much about the story. Besides, Lufia 2, you get, you get basically the whole, what happened at the end of Lufia 2 at the beginning of this game, so, anyway. This doesn't matter too much. I was kind of hoping I would have a water ring because a water ring would increase uh, Lufia's dew spell. It would increase the power of that, and I typically was using that quite a bit in the other tower. So, you know, just being prepared and all that. But nope, but don't have a water ring. So, I think there's going to be in each of these towers. I actually saw that there was going to be. A ring for each of these towers so there's gonna be a blue ring in here and then there's gonna be a red ring in the other tower so we'll have to see I don't remember the, the what stats they increase but hopefully speaking of blue ring here it is Wow uh, let's see is that any better than what she's got okay, it increases attack and defense more but she loses until it, a lot of agility Let's see. I'm trying to see. She has the highest agility, which I think is good for her, actually. Okay, you know what? Let's see. Day's ring. Sonic ring. Let's see. Let's give that... Yeah, I think a girl would definitely... Let's see. 88, 87... Actually, no. Lufia? How about... Okay, change my mind. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give Jaren the blue ring, and then I'm gonna give Lufia the green ring, because she's using more magic spells and all that. So I think that will do. I hope. All right. We can always switch it around sometime later if I feel like it. I mean, I know Jaren could definitely benefit from having all the from the having the green having the green ring equipped right now, but. So it, it, since it upgrade, update, bleh, updates, bleh, it increases a lot of, increases intelligence. Maybe it's probably a better thing for Lufia at the moment, since she's really our ma the mage of the group, and Jaren's more like the somewhat a jack of all trades kind of, but not exactly. 
I guess I'm more the jack of all trades character here, but she's more fast, I guess. We're supposed to be like fast, more fast magic user. And then whatever, doesn't matter. I was trying to think of a some kind of Final Fantasy class I could compare to her, but I haven't played that many. I haven't really played the older Final Fantasy games that have all those classes that much, so couldn't really compare them too too much. I'm trying to th trying to think of a class from Final Fantasy V, but I don't remember all the classes from that game, so I can't exactly do that. Wish I could though. Uh, let us heal up a bit. Lufia, heal yourself. And heal Goro. He needs to heal. And Jaren needs to heal as well. There we go. That works. Alright. Let's go up the staircase. Because there's a lot of staircases here. Magic guard. Hmm. What is that? Oh. Well, that's a potion. Okay. It's probably like a little... It's a temp probably a temporary thing like the magic gourd, the power gourd and stuff like that that I got earlier. Ooh, split path. Ooh, hello chest that I can't get to right now. I wish I could get you, but I can't. Maybe I have to fall, it looks like I might have to fall from the top or bring up a platform from below or something. Seems more likely I'd, draw, I'd fall from the top, actually. All right, we got some level ups coming up soon, so that'll be nice. High potion. Uh, let's see, is there any hidden entrance ways here? Nope, didn't think so, but I thought it would, wouldn't hurt to check. There's a level up for Lufia, and she learned Bolt. Interesting. That's probably a more powerful thunder spell, if I had to guess. Let's move that up right below flash. And I'll move these kind of down. That'll do. Alright. I'm not going to do a whole sort of, a whole lot of sorting while on camera, of course, but might do some late, might do some off camera between record, between episodes, so. That's a big jelly bean right there. I wish I wish jelly beans were that big in real life. Ooh, I learned stone. That probably probably heals actually heals stone. So all those stone cures are probably not going to be as useful now. Yay for things being useful or useless. Then again, if I do run out of magic, it'll, the items will definitely be helpful. So I shouldn't discredit them too much. At least I got them, and I'd rather. As I, as I always say, or as I've heard other people say as well, it's better to have them and not need them than need them and not have them, so... It's a policy I kind of live by, somewhat. It's my motto, if you will. There's a chest over there, I definitely want to go loot that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Jaren got a oh not Jaren excuse me was it was it Jaren or was it a Guru? If it was a Guru that just got a level up, he's like he got a level up while he was stoned and you know, stoned, but I think that was Jaren actually that got that just got a level up, and I'm just being stupid because I can't read apparently. So I try to I guess I skimmed it too fast, thinking it was a Guru, but pretty sure that was Jaren because I'm pretty sure you uh, don't gain experience when you're stoned, so. One little detail I do like, though, is if you're if you are stoned, you don't take any damage from enemy attacks, which makes which makes a lot of sense. It's a little detail that I that I really appreciate that I found out between uh, last recording when I was heading back to Genova to heal Lufia. Yeah, it was definitely a Jiren because the girl was just getting close to a level up. So apparently, I can't read. Oh, hello, chests. Where do you have high magic? All right, let's see. Let's we haven't healed up in a little bit, so let's heal up here. Uh, let's do regular strong. All right, upstairs. Here's the pedestal. We don't have the gem to put in there though. 
wonder if it's in that other chest that I just kind of skipped over that I'm going to go back and get. Luffy took a beating in that battle as usual, so she heals up, and we're off. Agora was so close to a level up. He's like less, less than 100 points, and he levels up. There's a level up. For a second, I was actually hoping he would learn a new spell, but then I forgot, duh, he doesn't learn spells. Because I am a genius. Alright, let's see, what is in this door? Aha, pit, that's what I thought. Hello, chest. There's revive. And what do you have? Green Jade! Alright, that's probably the, the gemstone we need for the green tower. If I had to guess. I'd say that's a pretty educated guess. I think Jade is actually green naturally, but... Obviously they, they made it clear that it was green. Just so it would... In case the player didn't know that a Jade was green, they wouldn't be confused. Which I can understand that. So, then again, we have like, what was it, green sapphire or red sapphires or whatever, and sapphires, I thought sapphires were like, generally, naturally blue, aren't they? Unless I'm just being stupid, and I don't know my gemstones, which is likely the case, because I am not a geologist. Might be kind of neat to be one, but whatever, I digress. Alright, let's go around to the other side and get that chest that we saw earlier over here. Alright, let's see. What is in this chest down here? What do you contain? Sweet water. Alright, let's see. This look this path around here looks a little suspicious. I wonder if there's a hidden treasure here. Ooh, there's a there's a strange letter. Okay. Go to the red tower last. Okay. Well, we got the green. We got the green jade anyway, so we need to go back to the green tower and put that in there. So we kind of need to go do that. Go ahead and go do that and get one tower out of the way. Hopefully, by putting the green jade in the green tower, we'll find the blue jade and be able to. So we won't. Have, so we can come back to the blue tower, put the blue one in, and then we can find the red one. So. All right, to the green tower. Ooh, gown? Interesting, I wonder if that is actually better. No, does not look to be any better. Nope, it sucks. Thank you for dropping sucky equipment, monsters. Really appreciate it. All right, let's take a quick detour back to Genoba. And then we'll head back down to the green... I think I'll go ahead and just meet you guys down at the green tower. So I'll see you guys in a second. Alright guys, I decided to just meet you guys back up here at the top of the tower. Since we've pretty climbed the tower before. So you guys pretty much already know everything. So, um, what do we do? Green... Where's the green... Don't we have the green jade? Didn't we get that? Uh, hmm. Alright, didn't they say something about a pattern? Uh, crap. I didn't, I never found that in this, the pattern in this one. Shoot. Um, I might actually look for that off camera because it's the end of the episode. So, I will see you guys next time. In between recordings, I will probably look around and see if I can't find that uh, pattern thing. And so we can actually get some more progress done in the next episode instead of wandering around like an idiot. So, see you guys next time. Bye now.